Good evening everyone. Time for another Bitcoin report. You're looking at live market data from Trade Hill and Mount Gox is still down as far as quotes. We've got a pretty tight spread. Not really tight, so let's refresh. But uh, Bitcoins are trading. We're at 14.65 by 14.89 so that's a pretty tight spread as far as if you look at all the things that have happened and there's been a lot of news as you know I covered the theft and the banning and the crash of bitcoins so in my opinion just my opinion there is a concerted effort of the powers that be to destroy not really not destroy the Bitcoin but to destroy the idea that it's a viable alternative currency to the currencies of the world I don't think they're gonna succeed I think that I was correct in my last video that it really is an idea whose time has come and you can see I'm not really a early adopter I have 2.5 bitcoins in my current address and that's my donation address so I've had a few people donate coins and lend coins so I'm not a uh, bitcoin millionaire by any means but uh, I wanted to talk about the potential suppression of this idea and the pressure that may come down from different areas. There's not a lot I can say, but my channel's really only about a week old. You can see I have about 45,000, 44,000 views and uh, number of subscribers. It's earned a subscribe to the week award, which I appreciate, but I have some concerns due to issues I can't mention, but I have concerns about the continued viability of this channel and other channels that I run and I'm gonna leave it at that but I'm concerned about potential censorship of this idea so I wanted to propose an idea that I've been mulling over in my mind today and it has to do with the resources of this peer-to-peer -peer network that is being built and if you want to understand some of the issues of why it's necessary to have such a processor intensive network that's currently being built and has been being built for a while now the Bitcoin nodes and the entire network are not just greedy people trying to mine bitcoins of course that may be their motivation but the other functions performed by the nodes in this network are clearing of transactions and protecting the network from outside attacks by having more processing power than the challengers so the idea I had when I started to look at the potential for the loss of a forum for speech is that if I do lose this channel and for some reason other channels are censored uh, and again I can't go into the details but I see the potential for the same people that were behind the supposed theft stories and the 
censorship of the word issues and the attack against Mt. Gox. The idea I started to mull around in my mind is potentially using the other resources of this network for speech and video related uh, products. So here's the idea in a nutshell. There's already a large number of nodes out there that are pretty much just processing Bitcoin transactions. Now they're miners so they're obviously trying to mine Bitcoins and as the difficulty rises the most GPU intensive miners are going to be sharing the most rewards and uh, CPUs already out of it's not really in the running now it's just GPU mining but my guess is that most of the miners probably have a decent amount of hard drive space that they are not really using because the mining process is really just running on your GPU and you need a minimal amount of uh, space to run the Bitcoin application and the miners or whatever you're running so I think if you go out there and look at most of the computers you can buy today you're probably looking at about maybe a 250 gig hard drive is the minimum that uh, you're gonna be able to buy it's probably 500 now maybe a, a terabyte that is probably going to become the standard but what this presents is a potential opportunity for a network of information the idea is that perhaps if the speech about Bitcoin comes under pressure from the powers that be that there's the potential in this network to come back and host the uh, information about it so here's my idea the BitTorrent protocol that a lot of people are running right now they have the ability to fire up whatever BitTorrent client they have and share movies or whatever they want to share they're sharing it's not about copyright just like BitTorrent's not about or uh, I'm sorry Bitcoin's not about drugs BitTorrent's not about copyright BitTorrent's just about the ability for people to share information that might be open source operating systems it might be uncopywritten speeches by people there's a lot of books that are already out that are copyright free because the number of years that they've been written they're no longer regulated by copyright laws so there's a lot of potential and already happening on the BitTorrent network to share information so what my idea is that if you combine the existing Bitcoin miners and nodes that are already out there with a lot of free space there's a potential to develop a network of information such as my proposal is the BitTorrent network which would uh, I'm sorry the Bitcoin network which would host videos such as this one that are pro Bitcoin and the first issue that comes up when you think about that is how would you manage that if you opened up that space that's there and started to share it what are the concerns I'm not a systems guy so I don't know how a lot of the software works but from playing around I have discovered 
a few mentions of the idea of having streaming torrents so for example if you're streaming some or if you're sharing some open source video and there's some out there you can actually torrent that and when you're not you're in possession of maybe 10 percent of the file you're trying to view then there'd be some way to prioritize the first parts and to be able to actually stream the torrent from the resources and watch begin watching the video without having the whole file so if you combined streaming torrent technology with some sort of voting system giving priorities of course to the existing Bitcoin nodes then I could see the potential for a Bitcoin news network say for example where you could host on all the peer-to-peer -peer nodes either the entire file or a part of the file and be able to stream videos such as this so what I'm starting to think about is potential censorship of this information and how you could utilize the existing infrastructure of the Bitcoin network to begin to move off of controlled platforms of information and begin to use the existing Bitcoin infrastructure to host information giving the users on the Bitcoin network the ability to thumbs up or thumbs down the content which would prevent flooding by propagandists and shills and trolls etc so that's the kind of thing I'm looking at now I have a lot of confidence in the people in the Bitcoin community as I've begun to investigate this idea of Bitcoin and how it's growing I found that the most technically savvy people are the most pro Bitcoin and the least technically knowledgeable people are the most anti Bitcoin so I'm just gonna throw this out there this proposal that perhaps we should begin to use some of the resources of the Bitcoin network that's already in existence to begin to host some of the Bitcoin informational videos and have an ability to be outside of the realm of censorship whether that has to do with copywritten material or whether it has to do with uh, opposition of ideas or whatever an ability to have a distributed protected network for Bitcoin information and that's maybe the next step in promoting Bitcoin information and pre preventing it from being censored by the powers that be so we'll look into that and I'll give you my feedback and we'll talk to you next time